I'm here today in Indiana, uh, in Indianapolis, to meet with state legislators who have been so courageous in terms of their fight to stand up for a woman's right to make decisions about her own body. As we know, Indiana is the first state in the nation after the Dobbs decision to hold a special session um, where they have proposed legislation that will essentially and effectively ban access to abortion for the women of this state. Uh, because if you understand specifically what they're proposing, and if you know how a woman's body works, then you will understand that at the point that the vast majority of women realize they are pregnant, abortion will essentially be banned. And again, we are clear that it should be that woman's decision, not the government telling her what to do with her body or her life. And no one has to give up their faith or their beliefs to agree that the government should not tell somebody else what they should do. It should be a personal decision based on what people value and what they hold dear and what are the most intimate decisions any person can make about their life and their family. So with that, I'm here to support the legislators who are here and to support the, the folks who are doing the work on the ground in terms of service providers and to let them know we stand with the women of Indiana. We trust the women of Indiana to make decisions about their own lives without requiring their government to tell them what to do with their bodies. So with that, I'm glad to be here. Thank Madam you. Vice President, and part of that support 